we doing folks I'm gonna do a part two of uh, how um, coronavirus uh, affected our restaurants here in Las Vegas and I just couldn't help but to get uh, a glimpse of this right here I'm on Craig and Clayton I don't know if they have any other Dunkin Donuts in this area uh, North Las Vegas but I wanted to take you I'm not Dunkin Donuts I'm sorry I want to take you to this Krispy Kreme right here Man, look at this line. This line is long. Now, here's the Krispy Kreme, okay, to the right. You see people getting in line. Somebody just got in line right now. And we're just going to go around real quick. Okay, as a result. Because, you know, people cannot go inside. Uh, I think they're going to, you know, on May 1st, they're going to open up some select restaurants. Uh, and uh, store so that's good for the economy uh, they're going to do it in three phases but here's where the line you, we just went past what maybe what 10 cars there 15 okay and I'm going to go back around as soon as I can kind of get access okay alright so here's the Krispy Kreme donuts right in front of me Okay, the line wrapped around to the left. Okay, and, and then it's gonna wrap around again. Okay, like so. You see right here where that car is in front of me? It's gonna wrap around like uh I don't know, like three snakes or whatever. Okay. Man, but look at that line. There's gotta be, I'm thinking like 35, 40 cars. Man, look at this right here. Oh my God, you probably got to wait. I'm thinking what, 30, 40 minutes or whatever for a doggone donut. Man, that's crazy. Wow. I guess that's the power that stimulus money. Wow, look at this line, man, this is crazy. I'm on Craig Road here. I'm going to back up a little bit, so hopefully nobody won't try to creep up on me. Let's see, it wraps around. I got to do this very, very carefully, guys. So wait. See how that is? It wraps around like so. And there's a Krispy Kreme. Man, that's, that is insane. Yeah. They have an in and out, and if I could get a chance to go over there, I'm gonna do uh, part of this clip over there. In and out is one on Charleston and Nellis Boulevard. They had a similar line like that. Okay, so we're gonna go on and move on. But hey, I just couldn't help but to do a video on, on that. Okay, let's move on to another uh, establishment. All right, so I'm going to go to Popeyes so you can see this line here, but they've had a much longer line. I've seen a much longer line. Uh, they had this line probably about at least 25 cars. So here's a nice little line right here. Okay. Uh, I'll probably try to get this establishment when it's, the line's a little bit longer, but I've seen it all the way to where, if you look to the left here, it's a Metro PCS. Just passing this Dunkin' Donuts, there's only like three people in line right now, okay?
But those Krispy Kreme donuts, they come out hot and fresh. I can remember like in the morning back in Virginia, and they probably just made it out here probably what, like five years ago, six years ago, something like that. Uh, but I remember we used to go there when I was uh, young, uh, what, Saturday morning at, at 8, 9 o'clock, okay? Uh, so I'm going to find another establishment with a long line. All right. All right, so this is Kane's Restaurant. This is on Craig and Lawrence. Uh, I've done one before, but now I'm able to catch it when they have a longer line. Look at this line right here. Man, this has got to be like, I'm thinking like 30 or 40 cars. Okay, so what it does, it wraps around like a big circle. Okay, look at this. All these people for some doggone chicken. That's stimulus money. Hey, that's that second wave of stimulus money. Okay, so here's the Canes. Here's where the line starts. This is the Canes restaurant. You see, it goes around the front. Okay, off to the side. And then it comes back down. Okay, see where the where the drive through is. And I don't even remember this many people coming to eat uh, when the restaurant's open. I mean, I don't remember this it being this busy during Christmas time. Man, this is crazy. But you know, Kane's uh, usually is uh, usually packed. But this is for, I'm just thinking for this time of year, all right? I mean, this is, uh, this is ridiculous. Here, let me turn around so I can kind of get a good glimpse of this. Look at this. All right, so this is uh, like where you order your food. But you see where that line is to the left here? Okay, and here's where you order your food, and here's where the line is. So there's probably got to be five cars up front, about seven or eight on this the left side here, and then between where the beginning of the line is and the end of the front of the restaurant, there's probably got to be a, about 15 cars there. So there's about 30, uh, probably about 35 cars in line. So this has got to be at least I'm thinking a 30 or 40 minute wait. I mean, is it really worth the wait? Wow, this is crazy. All right, I'm gonna try to go over here to in and out All right, and let's see what it look over there. If the video ends, okay, without me going, that means there's not a lot of people over there, okay? Okay, so I'm at the in and out on uh, Craig and Berg. <clears throat> and I've seen longer lines than this. Okay, let me turn around so I can get a good glimpse of it. All right, because I don't want to get in that, in that line. But this is a nice little line here. But they, the way they have it structured, this is pretty sweet. They got like two lines where you can order, and then one line, I guess it joins in one line. So I guess the drive through is going to be more and more popular. This is not as bad as I think uh, I thought it was, but I think that it looks like there's some cars parked. I don't know if they're probably doing uh, like uh, ordering and doing some taking out, okay? But between the cars parked to the left, and the cars are in line. Looks like it's maybe about 30 cars. So that's a nice little, a good little crowd there. Uh, man, I wish I was over there on Charleston and uh, and Nellis so you can see that line. That line is ridiculous. You know, usually the, the busiest uh, in and out burger in Las Vegas is on Trop and 15 over there uh, down where the uh, Park Arena and New York, New York is. Okay, like if you go like Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, uh, after checkout, I mean, it's usually like uh, mad crowded, maybe what, 40 cars? Not anymore, because there's really no tourism. Okay, so a lot of the establishments like uh, in and out are gonna be in the outskirts. 
right. I, I may try to get some more footage when there's a longer line when I can catch it. If I'm over there, another uh, in and out with a longer line, and it's getting late, it's about a little bit past 8 uh, or 9 p.m. And, uh, but if you like this video, feel free to subscribe, uh, share with your uh, friends, and uh, I'm going to call it a night. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. Ch uh, check out the rest of the videos as well. All right, you guys take care. Be safe. All right.